It's a great time to be alive and communicating. Excellent cell phones of all kinds abound. These, however, are not among them. I'm Brian Cooley with the top five phones you should pass up for something, anything else. Number five is the Motorola Flipout with a tepid CNET rating of 6.7. Okay, Motorola, lesson one. When making a touchscreen smartphone, make the screen large enough to touch. This chunky little guy has the Android operating system crammed into it, but not enough interface area to take advantage of it, in spite of a nice slide-out keyboard. Here's a hint. The screen is square, the web is not. Oh, by the way, the speakerphone is also crap, as was its 3G radio. Next. Number four, the Sony Ericsson Vivas. What a stupid name. CNET rating 6.3. Now, touchscreen products these days pretty much all use what's called a capacitive touchscreen, except the Vivas, which uses resistive technology. Kind of like those plastic flat buttons on a gas pump. That ain't cool. Coupled with the hoary old Symbian OS and slow internal guts, and you'll have plenty of time to contemplate what else you could have bought. Number three, the Samsung SGH A107. CNET rating 6.0, we give it about a 2.0 for its name. This is the most basic phone in our list of losers today, and frankly, too basic. It doesn't have an external display, so you have to flip it open to do anything. Other than being a great prop for a movie set in the 1990s, it's just a mess. Oh, and it's missing the single biggest innovation in phones since the flip, Bluetooth. Number two, the ZTE Agent, with a CNET rating of 5.3. Yes, ZTE is who makes this dud. Uh, no, I hadn't heard of them before either. I think this quote from our review says it all. Design, features, and call quality all leave much to be desired. We're done with this one. Before we get to our number one phone to avoid, a smartphone in general is not something we're avoiding. Latest numbers from Nielsen Research indicate that the number of smartphones in use in the U.S. will equal the number of ordinary cell phones by around Q3 of 2011. The revolution is on. Okay, our number one phone to not walk but run from is the Dell Aero, with a miserable CNET rating of 5.0. That's out of 10, remember. Running the ancient Android 1.5 OS doesn't start things well. But then Dell, that paragon of user interface design, skins it their own way, which makes it frustrating and unintuitive. Add sluggish internals and mmm, nice phone. If you want to see the secret sixth loser phone that vied for number one on today's list, or to catch up on all the CNET top fives, head to top5.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.